two sets of parents in the Kettle Moraine School District are suing. This after they say their sons were not allowed to wear this shirt with a gun on it. John Gallagher talked to one of the families about why they are not backing down. Kettle Moraine High School has a dress code that all students must follow, and the school district says the mere picture of a gun on a shirt isn't allowed. But some say that's a violation of their free speech. I got it because I like this shirt. He's not old enough to buy his own gun, but Robert Newhouse is a gun rights supporter. They're really fun. It's great to use for to go hunting. I like to go hunting. So when he was told he couldn't wear this shirt, he and his family were confused. Just to have a picture to be a supporter of, of our gun rights and to be a supporter of just legal ownership of guns, it was very upsetting. Robert continued to wear the shirt, and his mom Kimberly got this letter from the school, which reads in part, we do not allow students to wear clothes that depict guns. Moving forward, Robert cannot wear any items of clothing that depict guns. It doesn't matter what your dress code says, the Constitution of the United States and the First Amendment trumps your dress code. A classmate of Robert's faced similar discipline for wearing this shirt featuring Wisconsin Carry Incorporated, a gun rights organization. Nick Clark is the group's CEO. And so certainly if a school is going to sanction a walkout for uh, for gun control and to call for gun control, to call for universal background checks, to call for red flag laws. Certainly they should at least allow a student to wear a nonviolent, non-threatening t-shirt as they go about their daily business. Robert hopes his lawsuit will allow him to wear the shirt again. I definitely don't feel like it's fair because uh, I see other people expressing the other beliefs I may disagree with, but I'm not going after them because of that. And I feel like I'm getting targeted because of my political beliefs. The Kettle Moraine School declined to comment, citing pending litigation. In Wales, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4. So what do you think? Is the school violating the students' freedom of speech? We invite you to share your opinion. We do have a poll up right now at TMJ4 Facebook page.